Welcome back Valley friends, today we're spending some time with Tiana in the quest Dreamlight Gastronomy. To unlock this quest you will need to reach level 7 friendship with Tiana and you will need to have the following villagers in your valley, Mulan, Anna, Mike Wazowski, Kristoff, Woody, and Remy. Once you've met all the requirements you can chat with Tiana to get started. I did make a bit of a blunder though, when starting the quest, I forgot to record the first section of the story so I don't have any gameplay for this but I'll do my best to help with what you need to do. Tiana wants to have her very own cooking contest and needs you to recruit some contestants. To do this you will need to chat with Woody, Anna, Kristoff, Mike, and Mulan. Only three characters will agree to join your contest, and they will all assemble in Remy's house. Once you've chatted with all the candidates you can head into Remy's house where they will all be waiting, chat with Tiana to continue. She needs us to prep some ingredients for her seafood boil. First we will need to chop and gather potatoes and corn. In Remy's house you will find multiple barrels containing the vegetables, use your pickaxe to break these and then you can collect the chopped veggies. Then we need to wash and collect the herbs, these are also found in Remy's house on the floor next to the barrels. Use your watering can to wash them then pick them up. And now we just need to fish for all the seafood she needs. First up we will need two lobsters, these can be found in the Glade of Trust by fishing up the gold bubbles. I still had a fishing potion on my rod which helped a lot. We will also need to catch two shrimp from Dazzle Beach, these can be found in blue bubbles and less frequently in white bubbles. And finally we will need two crabs, which you can find in the frosted heights by fishing up the blue bubbles. This part took me the longest to complete. Make sure you have all the ingredients in your bag then head back over to Remy's house to deliver them to Tiana. Tiana now has all the ingredients she needs to complete her seafood boil and she'll serve up a dish special for us to try. Once you're done chatting with her you can open up your bag to try the dish. Then we can chat with her again to share our thoughts on the meal. We really enjoyed the meal and tried to guess which ingredient each of our valley friends contributed to the dish. Tiana thinks with a few more lessons our contestants should be able to make their very own dishes, which we'll be able to judge and pick a winner from. The winner will get their special dish advertised at Tiana's food stall for all our valley friends to see. But for this we will need to build a sandwich board for Tiana and some chalk. So let's gather all the materials we're going to need. First up we will need 15 pieces of stone which we can get by mining any rock spots around the valley or breaking grey rocks. Then we'll need to collect 20 pieces of hardwood which you can find in the Forest of Valor, Glade of Trust, Sunlit Plateau, and the Frosted Heights. We will also need 10 wheat which you can purchase seeds for at Goofy's stall in the Peaceful Meadows. And finally, we will need 5 eggs which we can purchase from Shea Remy. Now that we have all our materials we can head over to a crafting station to craft the sandwich board. Then we can head back over to Remy's house to deliver the sandwich board to Tiana. We've arrived at the perfect time. All the contestants have finished preparing their dishes and they are ready for us to do the taste test. 
but before we dig in, Tiana wants us to take a photo of each dish which she can use for later. Once you're done chatting with Tiana, take out your camera and take a photo of all the contestants and their meals. One big photo will do. Then while Tiana and Remy have their discussion on each of the meals, we can go ahead and pick up each meal and have a taste. We will need to try Christophe's beignet, Anna's fish creole, and Mike's okra soup. Once we're done tasting all the meals and Tiana and Remy have completed their discussion, we can chat with each of the contestants to provide them with some feedback on their dish. I started by chatting with Anna. Then I chatted with Kristoff. And finally we chatted with Mike. Now that we've chatted with all our contestants and tasted their food, we can chat with Tiana to pick our winner. I picked Christoph's beignet because he's my favorite character out of the contestants and who doesn't love a hot pastry with some ice cream. Tiana loves all the fun and interesting dishes that came out of the contest. She wants us to announce to Kristoff that he won and placed the sandwich board outside her restaurant to show off his special variation of the beignet recipe. We'll start by chatting with Kristoff to tell him he has won the contest and we really enjoyed his dish. Head over to Tiana's stall to place the sandwich sign. Then you will need to head over to Tiana's palace, where she will meet up with the winner to congratulate them. You can pick any of the three characters as the winner when you do this quest and the final steps will be the same for each. Then we can chat with Tiana again, which will conclude the quest Dreamlight Gastronomy. As always please leave us a like if you found this video useful and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. I will see you next time as we continue our adventures with Tiana in the valley.